I highly recommend that you take your time to solve those exercises because only by practicing you are really getting good at the programming language R. Please also note that there is a course accompanying PDF. You can find this in this tutorial. And uh, within this PDF you can also find the exercises and the solution codes to those exercises. So there are five exercises for this section. Number one, define the object my object and assign the vector 1 to 10 in at least three different ways. So you would create the object my object. Within this object there are the integer numbers 1 to 10 and you should do this in at least three different ways as we learned in the first coding video. After that you would get the sum of this object. So that's exercise number two. Exercise number three you would create the following vector by using the paste function. So the output should look like this. So basically as you can see there are three different elements. We have an integer element in the middle and the first and the last element they are character elements. And by using the paste function you can actually create this kind of output. Exercise number four. You have a vector of one, two, three and um, you would use the repeat function to get this kind of output. So you have 31 elements in this vector and you have the number 1 11 times, the numbers 2 and 3 10 times. So by using the repeat function you can try to get this output. And exercise number 5, what is the value of this vector from exercise number 4? Um, on position 7. Please pause this video now because I am now going to present the solutions. Alright, exercise number one, we should define the object my object in at least three different ways. The first one was just by using simply the arrow to the left side. I also did this with the arrow to the right side. Then I was using the equal sign and I was also using the assign function as we also learned. So it's assign then my object in quotation signs and then 1 to 10 as the content of this vector. And if I'm running this line you would see that I'm, I'm always getting the same result. I'm always having the object my object with the numbers 1 to 10. And to get the sum of this object we can just simply state sum my objects in brackets and this would get us uh, the number 55. So that's the sum of our object. Exercise number three, we would use the paste function. So basically the line looks like this. So it's paste. Then we have the first element R is great because this element is always the same. And this also applies for the second element. And I will love it. So those are characters. And the middle part consists of this numeric vector with 4, 7 and 45. And this actually gives us this output down here. So we have element number one. In the second line there is the second element. And element number three is the last element with the number 45 in the middle. Exercise number four, the repeat vector. There are several ways in how you can do this. I was choosing this simple line down here. I was choosing repeat one, two, three with a length 31. So in this case we would get the number one, 11 times and therefore we would have the length 31. And exercise number five, what is the value of this vector on position number seven? Therefore I'm just calling this vector x. I'm running this line. So now this is my object x and now I can use the box brackets to actually indicate the index position. In this case it is about index position seven and if I'm now running this line you would see that the result is seven. So this is the seventh element in the object x. All right, I hope that you had actually great fun in doing your first coding lines. Now you actually got some kind of idea what it is to do statistical and data analytical programming with R. 
In the upcoming sections you will learn how to handle datasets and we will also take a closer look on graphs in R because graphs are always a very important element when it comes to data science because with those graphs you have a really powerful tool to actually show your audience what this data and the patterns within your data looks like.